Welcome to the World Tarot. I heard that somebody wants to steal from the devil. And I saw the Seven of Swords. So, this person might want to steal ideas, right? Because swords are ideas. Swords are also words. They want to steal somebody's mind. They feel like somebody is very intelligent. Now I'm seeing the King of Swords. They might, might think that somebody is very intelligent, but they're evil. Like they're like an evil genius or something like that. An evil man's mastermind. But they really appreciate this person's ideas. Their, this person's mind. Or their words. The way this person speaks. So somebody is trying to steal from this person. They want to steal their ideas because they think they're original. right? Because King of Swords can represent the sign of Aquarius. Which usually the originals of the Zodiac are Aquarians. So this person could... Um, yeah, I could see this person as uh, highly intelligent. But at the same time, they don't like the person. They think this person's bad. Okay, so this person might think that if they steal from the bad guy, that's a good thing, right? That they, um, they're going to get away with it, right? Because if this person's uh, Maleficent... <laughs> okay, now I'm seeing Maleficent, <laughs> right? I'm seeing Angelina Jolie... <laughs> As Maleficent so um, if this person is Maleficent then it's okay to hurt this person it's okay to steal from them to embarrass them to make them look bad to make them feel bad right because they're the devil right this person's bad anyway so that it's it, it's as if they they feel like God is not gonna punish them for stealing from this person right but um, God might not be very happy to see you uh, trying to take ideas from something that you deem as evil because that makes you evil too, right? If you think this person is evil but you're okay with stealing their ideas and you think that if you steal from somebody evil then that's not stealing it's still stealing it's still bad in the eyes of God and especially because you want to steal for, from somebody so low vibrational, right? That means you're even more low vibrational than the devil the person you deem as the devil, right? Okay, so that's what I'm getting. So yeah, they either want to steal thoughts or words or some kind of writing. If this person's a writer, uh, the king of swords kind of character, the one I was talking about, the devil. If this is a writer, this is another writer who wants to steal their ideas and write the book faster, right? And then publish the, the book and this guy can't publish his own book. Or uh, if this is a scientist, king of swords can be a scientist. This scientist might have very groundbreaking research, right? Or they might have just the idea, right? They haven't done the research yet, but they have an idea and they want to go ahead and try to uh, find out if, if they're right, you know, to do some experiments or something. And somebody else finds out about this idea somehow and tries to do the experiments faster. For example, these two people could live overseas. I don't know. The, the genius that they deem the devil, they could leave, live in... Um, Africa, maybe. Somewhere in Africa. This person, this other person lives somewhere in America. The person who wants to steal. And because they have better infrastructure and all that stuff, this person might do uh, the same experiments faster here, or they could get funding faster, or they have better laboratories or something like that. So that's what I'm getting here. It's like somebody who's trying to steal from somebody who could be at the physical distance in another jurisdiction also because if it's another jurisdiction it's also harder to prove that this person stole from the other person because uh, the two jurisdictions might not work together well so it could be something like that so yeah somebody's trying to steal somebody's words or somebody's ideas Whew. oh my god okay show me who is the person who's trying to steal from the so-called devil? Eight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Two of Wands. Could be a Capricorn or an Aries here, or a Scorpio. Eight of Pentacles could be somebody who works a lot. I was talking about experiments. Yeah, this person could uh, do some kind of experiments, possibly, or they're a creator of some sort. They could also be a content creator. So yeah, th this person might, uh, you know, I'm, I'm seeing those little pentacles as kind of like uh, film roles right now. 
So this person could be some kind of cinematographer, they could be um, a movie director, uh, they could be a screenplay art writer, whatever, something like that. But anyway, this person has some kind of craft that they're working on. Three of Pentacles. This person works with other people. So this person works on their own and they work with others too. Two of Wands. This person also watches other people working with the Two of Wands. They could watch a lot of people. Maybe they could also travel, right? They could travel to work with others. And then they take what they learned by working with these people and take it back home, right? And try to do it on their own. Yeah, so this person could uh, do uh, go to a lot of international conferences possibly or get together with uh, uh, people from their field but from other countries, like I said. And they might pretend like they want to work together with these people, right? And they might get close enough to these people to um, understand what these people are working on. And then they might change their mind and they might say that they're not going to pursue the collaboration and then they take the ideas and work on it themselves in their own country. Okay, so what exactly does this person do or what do these people do? This could be a different uh, people doing this, Six of Swords. Again, with the Six of Swords, it talks about overseas distance. This person could be somebody who travels a lot. Ace of Cups. Six of Swords talks about uh, words again, thoughts. Three, four, thirty-four. Three of Wands, four of Wands. Again, this person travels. Whatever work they do, they travel and they communicate and they could be on a stage. So this person, like I said, they might travel to, to various conferences or this person might, uh, if this is a writer, they might go and, and um, oh, they might listen to other writers. They might go to, yeah, if this person's a writer in order to get ideas, they might go to other authors' um, book readings. Because, you know, um, and they might try to get their ideas and then try to finish the book faster with those ideas. I'm not sure, but in their country. So nobody can say that they stole from that guy. This could also be a musician who steals other people's music or listens to their music, right? And then tries to, to replicate it themselves and try to finish the, the song faster. So yeah, it could be different things. This could also be a spiritualist who steals other spiritualists' ideas. Six of Cups. And yes, this is a yes. Six of Cups. Again, this person is very celebrated. This person might get more attention and more love for stealing the other person's ideas than the other person does, right? So this person could be somebody who's more popular than the person they're stealing from. So they always steal from people who are much less popular. This person might always uh, be on the lookout for new, um, new talent in their field of work. And wherever there's some new talent coming up, this person quickly jumps uh, and steals ideas, you know, before this person manages to grow to a certain level. This person keeps stealing and keeps uh, trying to finish the work faster than the other person or to post it faster or, you know, to um, share it faster in some form or fashion or to sing it faster and to go to the concert and sing it faster than the other person or to... Uh, Make it public, okay? Whatever it is. But at the same time, that's the funny thing, that they're stealing. Let's not forget that they're stealing from somebody who they deem as bad. As a bad person. An evil person. And that's why they... That's what, that's kind of like making them feel better about themselves for, for stealing from this person. Because, oh, that's a bad person anyway. I'm an angel, so nothing's gonna happen to me because God's on my side. God is not on your side if you're stealing. It doesn't matter who you're stealing from. Okay? Because God works with the devil too. Okay. Six of Pentacles. Look, all the sixes are coming out here. 
I said God works with the devil too. This is like somebody working with other people. Okay. And this is a yes on the bottom of the neck. Everybody has their assignment. That's another thing I'm getting. That God has given everybody a, a life path and a life purpose. Some people's purpose is more fun maybe than other people's purpose. But everybody has their own purpose. And they should follow their own purpose. Not to try to steal somebody else's path. Right? <sighs> okay. Yes. What I just said. Yes. Okay. <laughs> King of Pentacles, Five of Cups. So it's like God is watching. God is watching what this person is doing. And this person needs to repent for what they're doing if they've been stealing ideas from the devil. So why do they... My question is, why do these people think that the people they're stealing from are devils or are evil? Why do these people think that the people they're stealing from... Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords. Um... This person could be very fiery, very uh, passionate. This person might get a bit angry sometimes, and that's why they think this person is evil, right? Queen of Swords and the uh, Queen of Wands, it's like um, a stronger energy. It's a female energy, but it's a very um, powerful, it's a more in charge kind of female. Uh, they could come across as more masculine or more determined or maybe a bit harsher with their words. Uh, they could have better boundaries than other people. I'm wondering if um, if it's a man stealing from a woman. It could also be a woman stealing from another woman. Uh, what is this situation? Is this a man stealing from a woman? Or a woman stealing from another one? What's going on here? Because there's like a separation. This could also be two women. So th these could this could be one woman stealing from another. And the woman who's stealing from the other is stealing because the other one could have turned their back on them. So these could have been friends, actually. The Queen of Wands and the Queen of Swords could have been friends at some point. But there was a schism be between them. <laughs> a great schism. They don't talk anymore. They're no longer friends. But one still wants to steal from the other one, even if the other one is deemed as the bad guy. These might not necessarily be friends. These could be two rivals, two female rivals, too. Okay, so are these two women? Is this one woman working against another one? Yes, Queen of Cups. <laughs> Queen of Cups could be the woman who's working against the other one. Eight of Swords. They're trying to make the other one stuck. They're trying to bind the other one, to, to uh, blind and bind the other one, and they get all the attention. Ten of Wands, they're trying to burden and bind the other one. Yeah, exactly. So that one cannot go on anymore, and this one can... Uh... Queen of... Oh my god, all the queens are coming out, that's crazy. So it, this is like a chick fight here. And uh, there's one woman who is uh, portraying herself to be an angel... An untainted angel, right? And the other one's the bad guy. But actually, this one's stealing every word that the other one's saying. So yeah, this is a cat fight here. <laughs> I'm seeing a cat fight here, okay? Why are they stealing? Okay, so um, they think the other woman's evil because it's not giving her attention. So one woman is pissed off that the other woman is not uh, cooperating with her or giving her attention. Also, uh, they might uh, really appreciate how this woman speaks. They might not admit it, but they really like this woman's mind and the way they speak. But they feel, they sense like this woman could be a darker soul or they could have been through a lot. They could have a lot of trauma, maybe. <sighs> okay. Why do they feel this person is the devil? Ten of Pentacles. Maybe this person is very abundant. And King of Wands here. So they feel this woman's the devil because uh, maybe they have a lot of money. Or they're capable of creating a lot of abundance for themselves. King of Wands, they could feel like that woman is very masculine. They might feel like the woman that they're stealing from is very masculine. 
king of wands the king of fire maybe they think it's the king of hell i don't know <laughs> does this person actually think that the other person is demonic or something does the person wants to steal from the de nine of swords yeah or they could think that uh, the person has demonic attachments or something that the person's possessed and the person's so smart because of the voices in her head that this this is not really um this that okay so they think that this woman is not as smart as uh, she portrays herself to be she's so smart because of the demonic voices who are putting ideas in her head right so that's what she's thinking that uh, that she couldn't possibly be so smart on her own she must be possessed by something and it's those voices who are telling her what to say okay i got it now yes it's true see ace of pentacles flipped out so that's the the thing here <laughs> and nine of pentacles flipped over in my deck 19 is the sun again it's leo energy fire energy it's also uh it's been illuminated so yeah it's clear that as day that this is the case okay there you go so yeah so why why are they stealing from this woman though did i say this maybe i talked about this before because i already forgot what i was talking about why are they stealing from this woman in particular but well, maybe because they seem very smart yeah <laughs> Because they seem very smart. King of Swords. Yeah, that's the smartest king. That's the smartest card in the deck. Three of Cups. They feel like this person is also very artistic, very inspired. So they're intellectual, intelligent. But they um, are also inspired by the free muses. This person could be an artist. Or they could express themselves very artistically. They could feel like this person has a higher education with the King of Swords. Or well, maybe that's that's it. It's the higher education that's talking, and maybe culture. Maybe this person's cultivated, and this person thinks that because this person's intelligent and cultivated, that they must must uh, be possessed by the demons. <laughs> okay then. Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay, so this is a class clash. It's a class clash. Uh, these people could be of two different uh, social backgrounds and one person might feel like the other one's privileged or they don't know how privileged the person really is they don't know how much education this person's had they might assume that the person is not as educated as they really are they might assume that they come from similar backgrounds you know so they can't understand why the other person is much smarter than them or much more cultivated much more um intellectual it could be yeah so these people could be from uh, very different backgrounds yeah the fool flipped over four of swords and i've got the fool here somewhere let's see where is it ace of cups Ace of Cups makes me think of inspiration. It's like water running, oh, flowing, overflowing here. Five of Swords. Yeah, this person is tit for tat. There's also some kind of heartbreak here with the, the Five of Swords and the Three of Swords. Somebody could be very envious. of the One person could be very envious of the other one. Why are they envying the other person? Why are they envying the other person? Four of Pentacles. Because they have a lack mindset. And also they could be uh, competing for the same love interest with the Two of Cups. They might feel like they're, um, this person could be stealing their soulmate or something like that. Or both of these women might think that they have the same soulmate, that the same person is their soulmate. And they want to hold on to this person that they consider to be their soulmate. So there's some kind of jealousy here. It there's some it has to do with jealousy too. King of Cups. Yeah, this is about love. These are rivals in love. And they might feel like the other person has certain advantages over them. That's their main concern here. It's not even about work. It's about fighting over a love interest. 
this got really boring very fast anyway yeah so these two women here are fighting each other because they want to be with the same man or yeah and one woman feels like the other one has more advantages because they're smarter than this first woman and that man might be inspired might be uh might like intelligent women he might be um i forgot the word oops i'm not that intelligent <laughs> okay so uh sapiosexual the man might be a sapiosexual and they might really like the woman who's very intelligent and the other woman cannot really compete intellectually with this woman even though the other woman might be more attractive because the queen of wands is usually very hot girl and the queen of cups also the queen of swords is usually the ugly girl or it's somebody older it can be somebody uglier or older people don't really talk about this but yeah the queen of cups is usually the most beautiful then it's the queen of pentacles then it's the queen of pentacles and the queen of wands can both be beautiful but the queen of pentacles is more preppy right the queen of wands is the hot girl and the queen of swords is the older woman or the uglier woman the ugly duckling okay there you go so this one's prettier and this one's smarter and the prettier one feels like um the guy they want might like the smarter girls more oh god seven of wands yeah this person wants to stand out to this man she wants to, to be above uh, all the other options so she might try to steal the other woman's ideas to make it look like she's the one who thought about it first. So to, to look like they're more intelligent. Not only are they beautiful, but they're intelligent too. So the other one is just intelligent. They're not as beautiful as them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Grown-ups. Grown-up stuff here. Nine of Wands. This I think this person has some kind of trauma. I don't know. 79 could be significant. Two of Swords. Yeah, this person's trying to block the other person, to slow the other person down, to make the other person look like there's something wrong with them, uh, to shut the other person up so they can uh, speak up. Knight of Cups. Okay, they want a love offer from the King of Cups. <sighs> oh my God, this is messed up. I got a very messed up uh, thing in my head. <laughs> It's like this woman is uh, begging for attention. Okay. Daddy, look at me, look at me. This, this woman has father wounds, okay? Eight of wands. This could talk about communication. Could also talk about travel at a distance. So they're hoping that uh, this guy is going to make them some kind of offer. He's going to reach out to them. So they're begging for attention, hoping that this person is going to reach out to them. Okay. Something flipped here. Four of Cups. Rejection. This, this woman feels rejected. Seven of Pentacles. This woman could be waiting for a long time to, for this guy to reach out to them. They're trying to impress the guy. The guy is not reaching out. Is the guy going to reach out? Ten of Cups. Maybe he will. There you go. Six of Wands, bingo, victory. Okay, they're going to have a victory. So will the guy uh, choose the, the, the cheater, the stealer here? 72 or 27 could be significant. Okay, this guy might try to use them both. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, this guy might try to make offers to multiple people. Seven of Cups, maybe up to seven people or even more. Eight of Cups, then he's going to walk away and these people are going to fight over each other. Okay, so we're dealing with a narcissist who really wants a lot of attention. The guy is also a narcissist. The end. <laughs> so there's a woman fighting with another woman for the attention of a particular man. But this particular man doesn't give a shit because he's going to make offers to both of them and to other bitches too. Sorry to say, but that's the case. Uh, the guy just wants to have lots of options and to see them fight for him for his attention because he's a super narcissist. This is a narcissist, but the other guy is a super narcissist. So he's a bigger narcissist than the bitch who's trying to steal from the other one. The other one's just a bitch and they know it. There you go. <laughs> I hope this helps. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>